and the solvent used in this reaction is CCl4 that is carbon tetrachloride what will be the product now this is halogenation of alkene alkene acts as a nucleophile and bromine acts as electrophile so when bromine come closer to alkene the bromine bromine bond becomes polarized so this bond gets polarized and this bromine atom develops a negative charge and this bromine atom develops a positive charge so what happens the double bond attacks on bromine at the same time this lone pair attacks on alkene and Br- lives this generates a cyclic intermediate so bromine will have two lone pair of electron bromine will also have plus formal charge this cyclic intermediate is called bromonium ion so this is a three membered ring and this is a cyclic intermediate and this cyclic intermediate is called bromonium ion if you have chloro group then it will be called chloronium ion or in general it's a halonium ion in this case we have bromenium ion bromenium ion is very stable this molecule is very stable or this intermediate is very stable reason is in this case bromine has its octet complete all atom has its octet complete so this is very uh, stable so this cyclic intermediate is very uh, stable and the reason is all atom has its octet complete so this is the faster step that is addition of Br plus so simply faster step is addition of a electrophile so this is a step one addition of electrophile in the next step a nucleophile attacks and this time nucleophile is Br- minus. so Br- minus will attack on this bromonium ion we can open this cycle and the final product is we have to add two bromine atom so this is simply addition reaction so we have added one mole of bromine over the double bond so this is a addition reaction so this is a addition reaction one mole of bromine one mole of bromine is added across the double bond so this reaction is addition reaction and the first step is addition of electrophile so that's why this is called electrophilic addition reaction 
So addition of halogen on the alkene is example of electrophilic addition reaction. One another important point we have that these two bromine atom are added from opposite side. If you see in this case this Br- is attacking from this side and we have bromine this side. So this is an example of anti addition. So addition of bromine is anti addition. Now a question is generally asked why addition of bromine is anti. So why addition of bromine is anti? That is from opposite side. So when I say anti this means from opposite faces. Now this can be explained on the basis of cyclic bromonium ion. So for example this is the alkene we have R groups attached and when bromine adds this bond goes slightly below this bound goes slightly below so Br plus is adding from the top. So we have Br plus here Now next time when Br- tries to attack from the top face it will have repulsion so there are a large asteric crowding. But if I if Br- attacks from the bottom face it does not have so much crowding. That's why Br- will attack from the bottom side not from the top side that is opposite to the Br plus side. So to minimize the steric factor, the steric strain or a steric repulsion Br- attacks from the opposite side. Now let us try next problem. Now this is cis 2 butene and this is reacting with bromine in CCL4 solvent. What will be the product? Now to answer this question you must know two things. First is addition of bromine is anti. And the second thing is if you add two groups to same groups from anti side in case of cis 2 butene you will have final product as a racemic mixture. That is if I have cis 2 butene and the addition is anti, the product will be racemic mixture. And this you have to remember basically we have discussed in some of the lecture this one. That is if you have cis 2 butene, so we are talking about symmetrical alkene and in this case this alkene is a symmetrical alkene. So if I have cis 2 butene addition is anti, the final product is a racemic mixture. If I have cis 2 butene, addition is also cis, in that case product is mesu. If I have trans 2 butene and addition is sin, in that case again we will have racemic mixture. And if I have trans 2 butene, 
and addition is also trans in that case again we will have meso product so now in this case we have cis and addition is trans that is anti trans means anti that is from opposite side so we have this combination so in this case we will have racemic mixture so we will have this reagent double bond and the final product we will have that will have racemic mixture this carbon is optically active and this carbon is also optically active now we can show these two products by showing feature projection formula and product has to be racemic mixture so they are enantiomer so these are the two product that is possible in this case basically only three isomer are possible for this compound two are enantiomer that is a pair of enantiomer that is two is optically active and one is optically inactive that is this compound so this is optically inactive because it has a plane of symmetry so for our problem these are the two product we will have now let us try this problem if i have trans to butene and bromine is added in the presence of ccl4 what will be the product now again use the rule this time alkene is trans and the addition is also trans that is anti so now trans trans is meso you see here if you have trans addition is also trans the final product is meso so in this case we will have meso product so you can show by feature projection formula meso will have a plane of symmetry so here we have plane of symmetry so this is the plane of symmetry we have in this case so let us try this problem so we have a double bond and this is treated with bromine in the presence of h2o so this time solvent is not ccl4 water is the solvent so what will be the major product in this case now for this problem you ignore the stereochemistry so ignore the stereochemistry so you simply write the product now in this case in the first step again we'll have cyclic bromonium ion in the next step h2o will attack as a nucleophile because concentration of h2o is very high so in the next step h2o will attack as nucleophile so now this will act as nucleophile so we will have in this case this lone pair will attack on this carbon at the same time we can break this bond so we will have oh2 plus now in the next step we can lose h plus from here 
So we can show those two hydrogen separately and we can lose H plus. So we will have OH group and here we will have Br group. So this is the final product in this case we will have and OH Br will be added from opposite side that is addition is trans. So addition of OH and Br is trans. Now if I want to show the stereochemistry basically two product will be obtained in this case. So OH and Br I have to place in anti position. So this is one product and another product we will have OH is in down and Br is up. So we will have two product possible in this case. And basically these two product will be enantiomeric pair. You can see yourself if you rotate this molecule along this line by 180 degree. So this is the axis of rotation. So if you rotate by 180 degree hydrogen will go down and OH will come up and this hydrogen will go down. Uh, up and bromine will go down and basically this ring will come forward side. Uh, let me show the ring again. So what will happen in this case a ring will come in the forward side. So if I rotate by 180 degree about this axis the ring will come forward and this, this carbon atom will go back. This carbon atom will also go back. Hydrogen in the down and OH up, hydrogen down, Br up. So this is hydrogen up, sorry, this is hydrogen is up and Br is down. Now you can see yourself this molecule and this molecule are mirror image to each other. If you just place these two molecules together, you can see these two are mirror image to each other. So they are enantiomer. So we will have a racemic mixture. So in this case, we will get a final product is racemic mixture.